and getting better. Ah, hello, and welcome back to another edition of Behind the Lens Video Style with yours truly. It's game day, week five, game five. Let's get to it. Game day. See what the newspaper has to say. County graduation rate tops 95%. Blackman Jr. Avery Watson, son of Blackman coach David Watson's work and encourages players during his practice. A heartbeat for football. Blackman players coach's heart condition ends career. Front page by Cecil Joyce of the Daily News Journal, not Tom Craven down at the Tennessee. Coca-Cola truck moving out, They're dropping off some beverages. Unbeaten Riverdale set for a shot against Oakland, the Battle of the Borough. Here is a look at the top Murfreesboro area football games for week five. Cecil Joyce, the rundown. Here we go. He's got it right here where I want it on the front page. Game of the week, Battle of the Borough, Riverdale at Oakland. We got Blackman at Siegel, that'll be across town. Overton will be across over in Davidson, or Smart will be over in Overton in Davidson County. Stewart's Creek at Cane Ridge, that'll be a matchup. See if we can find the rest of them. McGavick is at Laverne Community at Eagleville. Middle Tennessee Christian School down at Ezel Hardy. And Upperman at Cannon County. Cecil Joyce has the rundown in there. Let's give him a round of applause. Big Cease. Nice golf clap. Let's get into it. Let's find us a topic. Amounts. Amounts. You know, I've probably brushed across this topic a little bit. And there's a lot of things that deal with the word amount. The amount of points you score on the scoreboard. The amount of tackles you have on Friday Night Lights. The amount of complete passes. The amount of a lot of different things. You know, the amount of your record. The amount of everything. Those are things you can see and tangibly hold. But you know what? Coach Dye, more than anything, likes the things you can't see, the non-tangibles, the things like a kid's desire. How do you measure the amount of a man's desire, the amount of a man's will to win, the insides of him? Coach talks about that all the time. You know, in college, when they're recruiting players and even at the pro level, what are the things they look at? Oh, Stork, he runs a 4-3. He can bench a certain amount of weight. He can vertically jump a certain amount of height. He is he had a certain amount of tackles. They, they, they measure everything, and hopefully that gives them enough information based on these amounts to make a good de buying decision to say, we want to draft that kid. We want to give that kid a full-ride scholarship. How many of them turn out to be duds? How many of them turn out that they just don't work out at all? He was a flop. She was a flop. She got here. She had issues. She couldn't get into the game. She, she couldn't blend in with us. You know, it happens all the time. Amounts. And your amounts will get even bigger when you get in life. You know, it'll be about the amount of money you make. The amount of effort and investment time you put into making that money, the amount of love you give your wife or your husband, your kids, the amount of dedication and time you give to raising children, whatever the case may be, you're going to be dealing in the word amounts for the rest of your life. Basic math. And it's going to be the measuring chart of win or loss to a lot of people. But there's that one thing that we just can't measure, and that's right here, his heart. And this, these are the things we can't measure, his quickness for time, his ability to react. How do you measure those amounts? With that being said, let's think about that as we go into Friday night. You know, there'll be a lot of things after the game, but the amount will not be measured. And it's my favorite time right after the ball game when they grab that coach and they say, 
guys really fought hard to get back there. Coach uh, Wilkins, uh, tell us a little bit about what went on. I tell you what, the kids were just playing so hard and we just did so well out there. These guys got a lot of heart. We, we were behind by two touchdowns and came back and won. And it's just a dedication to these kids. Happens all the time. One of my favorite moments. Let's get into another topic. A mount. Let's bring it all together, get home. I got a, I got a few conference calls I got to get to before we turn up Stork Vision. Over at Ray Hughes Stadium, Battle of the Borough. Will Kreisky, undefeated with his Riverdale Warriors, goes over to take on Kevin Creasy and the Oakland Patriots. Up, oh, kind of let it out of the bag as I was talking about a mount. Blending, blending. You know, there's some components that go into blending. Did you know that? Because you're trying to do, you're trying to push some stuff together to make it work and actually get better with what you're doing. In blending, you, you, you got certain components. One of them is time. So there's a time limit given on your blending process. Right now, we're in football season, so you're trying to blend a team to get to a certain point. You know, and Ron Adelot always said it in his Inside the Headsets. He said, Stork, long about game five, six, you're about as good as you're going to get. So in other words, he always said that Long about game five, when we're at week five, game five, Coach A. Lott, he always said that that's about as good as you're going to get. So that blending process, so we, let's see, we got time, so it'll be a time limit, and then there'll be a bunch of communication on how we're going to get there, how we're going to blend in together. So we got communication, and then you got, you know, what's the standard? So we, we put a standard up here. This is where we want to go, Stork. After we blend all this together, we want to get here. And then last but not least is the measuring. And as you put those components in, you stir them up, and you work with them, and you mold them, and you get them better, at the end you find out just how well you blended. And some things go together real well, and then some things don't. Some people are team players, and some people aren't. Some people, isn't it amazing how one person, or one spice, or one thing, can totally ruin the blend. Just one thing. You know, one is a majority. Coach Dyes talked about that many a times with me, that one person can move a lot. So as you go through, think about your blending process. Think about what's going on as you blend in with your friends during that time limit that's available in school. Because later on, you won't be going to a school where there's 2,000, 1,500, 300 people. You'll be in a workforce somewhere doing something else. It's a valuable time. Hey, let's give a little bit of credit. My sinuses and these feathers. Woo. Uh, Buckethead here. Uh, we're gonna give him his. Uh, we're gonna give him a little praise. We're gonna let's give him. Let's give him a couple of golf claps here. Here we go. Hey, Tom Crager, Tennessee. Him. Tom has been selected by the Tennessee Secondary Scholastic High School Athletic Association. Basically, the ten secondary sports. Basically, Tennessee Secondary Sports Athletic Association, TSSAA. They have selected him to give him an award for his contribution to high school sports. Now, it's just not all about football because I tease him about video, 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 and how he's trying to be the video king and run around out here and put highlights up. I give him a hard time about that. But, you know, right now, the state of Tennessee is, is you know, this is what we do. Other states don't understand it, like people in Idaho don't understand the lens. They don't understand that the Tennessee, the state of Tennessee is in a lockdown right now, so focused on the fall, because it's our season. You know, when I moved down here in 97, I understood first right off that if you don't get involved in football, you're going to be left out. You know, I tried to get involved in basketball, and that's almost like, what? What, what, what do you want to talk about, Stuart? But anyway, all in all, we're in our season right now. And uh, Crager's having a big time, but he does a lot of other things, like with basketball, cross country, spring fling, puts a lot of time into it. An award, well deserved. I give him a hard time, but you know what? Uh, there's a lot of hours that go into that with very little pay. And uh, so we give, we give it all to Big TK. Uh, you do a good job, we enjoy you. You're still a bucket head, and uh, there, that'll never change, Tom. That'll never change. But, and, and we give Cecil Joyce, we appreciate you getting uh, the DNJ and getting my rundown taken care of. It's amazing. 
Like I said, one man's a majority. All right, with all that, let's get out of here tonight. Battle of the Borough, one of the biggest games. It's the 49th edition when you include in the playoffs and everything. So uh, it'll be a good time over at Ray Hughes Stadium. Uh, the, the first high school here was Central, and then they split them off, and now we got Riverdale and Oakland. The first two will compete tonight at 7 o'clock at Ray Hughes Stadium. God bless. Take care. I'm a man who truly, truly delivers. Tonight, me, Captain Anthony Fiorella, Fiorella my Italian stallion color commentary. Judy the Beauty will run the camera. Sam will bring us all the scores and everything out of Louisville and produce this show. And I'll be the play-by-play -play guy tonight. So with that all be said, God bless. Take care. I'm a man who truly, truly delivers. That's me, the stork. And I'll see you tonight at Ray Hughes Stadium. Happy birthday to Bryce Musso. Nobody knows Bryce, and I've never even met him, but I know his mother real well. He is a football player on the Alabama Crimson Tide, and is a freshman. And he's going to get to dress tomorrow for the Colorado State game. So happy birthday. Happy 19, Bryce Musso. Let's get out of here, Crager. we got any work to do. Tom Crager down at the Tennessean. We'll see you tonight, kids.